On today's rethrow, we're going to be having a look at the Spider-Man classics of uh, Venom. Uh, now, what a rethrow is, <clears throat> since this is the first rethrow I've done, uh, it's more like a second try at a review because the first time I did the review, I've done a review on this figure as well as all my other Spider-Man Classics figures, but uh, I'm going to try to do more rethrows, more reviews of these guys. I'm going to do it again. I'm calling rethrows, uh, but that's what it is. And if you already know this, then that's good. And that's probably because you went down here on the channel and looked in my video descriptions. Uh, of describing what all videos I do and answering questions and things but uh... anyway I'll probably cover that in another news and update since it has been updated because whenever I come out with a new video I'll post it down there as well as on the website uh... if you haven't visited your official website you can go ahead and visit it down below as well as all the other things all three major social networking sites but uh... anyway uh... today we're going to be having a look at Venom I'll try to get more reviews and on the other Spider-Man Classics figures, rethrows that is, because I've already done normal reviews. Because uh, what a rethrow is for is because if I don't feel good with the review I've done on a figure, then I'll just try it again as a rethrow. It's basically a second try. But uh, anyway, so here I have Venom. Uh, this is the variant Venom. There is a purple Venom. Uh, not all purple. He's black, and as you can see, he's got this blue here. Picking that up on the camera, yes. He's got this blue. Actually, that's purple on the other Venom, which I didn't pick up. They actually didn't have him. Uh, a friend of mine actually bought the last one. But I, I'm really happy with the blue one. There's no difference in gimmick or anything. Uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the gimmick. Let me raise the camera up a little. Uh, there's this big old honk and peg on back. And what you need to do is you can use your thumb, but I just use my go ahead and use my palm. And uh, you... You have to press it in with a little force, and can you see that? That's it. That's all it does. Yeah. It, it, can you even make it out? That's all it really does. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and look at detailing. Uh, starting with the head. His head is really, really detailed, other than the fact there is absolutely no articulation in it, because it's all for that gimmick. It's made of kind of rubbery material, different from the rest of the figure. Uh, let me go ahead and move this arm down. Really great, really great detailing on this figure. Uh, this smile, if you can guys, let me just show that to you now. This smile goes all the way up his head. And I thought that was compl that was really awesome. There I go throwing awesome out there, but a uh, really cool smile. Really like how it goes way up there. Uh, the other side does it even more. It does it goes up even farther. It would be almost scary for a human to do that because it would be like ripping up the side of your face. But uh, anyway, it's really cool looking on Venom. I'm really glad they implemented that from the cartoons and the comics. Uh, really great uh, Venom symbol going up here. Uh, I do have kind of a problem with the waist. It, it's hard. It's got some sort of obstruction to where it's hard to line up the symbol, but it's okay. You can make it look pretty good. Um, he's got his blue, which is, can be variant. Uh, also, the variant on his hands, you see these blue squares or pentagons, I think. But uh, anyway, they do not have that on the variant. It's just normal hands, black. Uh, there is individual articulation in the fingers. So each finger can do whatever it wants. You can have it however you want it. Big old balls uh, joints on the, uh, ooh, big old ball joints on the shoulders. Uh, nothing really to do, uh, nothing really going on on the back. Nothing at all. Uh, he's got this great uh, rough feeling to him. Uh, he's got his awesome strength, which is his muscles. Just get him to show that to you now. Yeah, look at that muscle. <laughs> All right. Uh, and now his legs have big old muscles, and you actually feel the roughness to this figure with the muscles. <clears throat> they actually have them out, poking out like veins would, so you can feel the muscles. It's really cool. Uh, nothing really going on around the crotch area. Uh, his feet, he has articulation in the toes, 
Um, he has articulation in the uh, elbows, if I didn't mention it, which you probably saw it when I showed his muscles. Uh, he is double jointed at the knee. Uh, just show you that. Two points of articulation at the knee. That actually doesn't really do that good on the second joint. The first joint up doesn't really do anything because of the size of his legs. But uh, anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and bring in a size comparison. So I'm just going to roll my chair back a little. However, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in our uh, Scorpion Venom or Matt Gargan Venom. Um, just kind of move his elbows in so there's plenty of space. But uh, Matt Gargan Venom is not as tall, but maybe a little beefier. Can't really tell, but uh, he had, he does have articulation in his head. I, anyway, I'll do review. I'll do a throwback on him. I mean, a rethrow on him. Uh, he also shares the pentagon or square. I think it's going to be a pentagon on his hand. Trapezoid. A trapezoid it is. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, uh, with his tail, he is much taller. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and take him out. Uh, let's bring in our Spider-Man. Uh, our Spider-Man is not as tall, not near as beefy. <clears throat> but still is a good figure and is pretty tall. <coughs> Sorry guys, I just woke up a little while ago. Uh, and let's go ahead and bring up, bring in our six inch Iron Man. Now the Matt Gar, I mean, excuse me, the Venom, this Venom may be about seven, maybe six, I don't really know how, how completely tall these figures are. They say six inches, but it could be six and a quarter, it could be less. But uh, Venom is a little taller. Um, definitely beefier. So let's go ahead and take Iron Man out of the picture. And get that. Alright, but uh, overall, this figure is a good figure. Uh, so wrapping up this rethrow, uh, re which has been on Spider Man Classics Venom. And I hope you guys enjoyed this rethrow, and I'll see you guys.